Hi friends, it's Petra here with another Bramble Fox video and today I'm using the gorgeous May Fox Box and the brand new stitching template and it has been a popular one because when I wanted to buy it, it was already out of stock and it was barely uh, available in the shop uh, to begin with because it was just, just... Um, placed in the shop so it's really popular and I understand why because it's a fab template so um, I've made a circular design and I've used the template a bit differently which I will show you uh, later on in the video now I'm um, placing some rub-ons on my cardstock because I want to use them as uh, normal embellishments and I will fussy cut them out sorry for the wriggling of the camera and I will do that fussy cutting and all that embroidery out of camera because that is not the most exciting thing to watch. Um, but I've picked three teal-like colors uh, from light to dark for that stitching uh, I, will, uh, I have been doing. And as you see, I haven't used the template in a regular way. I have used it to create little, well, how do you call it, fans. Um, and a little race of sunshine uh, and I thought it is a fun way to also use that stitching template and uh, get a bit of extra creativity out of it you don't have to use it uh, in a circular line uh, but you can also use it differently and that's why I used the pencil to mark the spots because um, then you can, well, cheat a bit uh, when you are punching the holes because the template is not meant to do what I did. Um, so you can just adjust some of the uh, holes that you want to make to center them a bit more. Uh, but it is the perfect base for a background as I used it. It's really, I think it's a must have. Um, my husband would be laughing right now, but I think it's a must-have. It's such a different way to do some stitching on your layouts. And it's easy. So, go get your one! Go get your one! Um, so, here is that Bright Days title. And um, since it's a bit of a busy background, I thought it wasn't sticking out. So, I'm just simply using uh, a design paper with a neutral background and I'm uh, matting that title with that piece of paper and I will fussy cut it out so it just stands out a bit more. And to elevate that title so that it will stick above the photo, I'm using the same foam as I used to uh, glue my photo down, only two layers. I often use that cheap craft foam and it is uh, adhesive, but when you have it uh, for some time then that simply dries out, but you can easily glue it down or use some double-sided tape. So, as you know, I have fussy cut those uh, rub-ons and I also fussy cut some of the uh, stickers that are in the collection because they are so, so thin. It's, I think it's thinner than rice paper, so I simply stick them on a piece of white cardstock and fussy cut them out so that I can use it on this kind of layouts because such a thin sticker you can you simply cannot stick it on a embroidery or on an elevated surface so mm -hmm. 
So due to that uh, stitching template, you create uh, a gorgeous background in such an easy way and it simply makes your scrapping life way easier because in the end the only time it took was that embroidery but the rest of the layout was just easy peasy. Oh, 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 and in the uh, May Fox box I got this little treat. Look, it's a puffy, um, fluffy heart and I love them. So I had to use it in this layout. And well, that's about it. I'm finishing it off with some small heart stickers and then I'm done. So I hope you like it and I hope you will too get that stitching template because you have to. It's a basic. Uh, I will link everything below and thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.